Hi, I'm um, back again. Um, this time I thought I would just update you um, on some conversations uh, we've had with the bank, uh, with Bank with Santander. Um, I thought this just might be helpful. Uh, I'm clean shaven. A couple of people said you look a bit rough. I think I still look rough, but at least I'm clean shaven. Um, okay. Uh, we spoke to the bank a couple of weeks ago and sent them some cash flow forecasts and said we're pretty certain we're going to need to uh, have some support and we're going to need uh, ideally uh, an increase in our current working capital facility, so our overdraft facility. Um, anyway, uh, you know, a couple of weeks has been a long time. Uh, we redid some forecasts for them uh, over the weekend because the situation has changed and uh, we had a, a long catch up call with them today. And I just wanted to share some of the some of the takeaways from that. Um, the support we are all most likely to get is probably going to come from the British Business Bank. Um, it will come in the form of a uh, interest free and capital repayment free uh, loan, or at least that interest and capital is not repayable for at least 12 months. Um, I think, uh, you know, the questions for the bank will be around uh, two, two things. They'll be looking to see whether you're eligible. And I'm going to guess that most of our businesses uh, in this sector, we're going we're gonna to qualify. The question then for the bankers is how viable are our businesses? And I guess if you were a strong, viable business before this all happened, um, they'll be able to take a view on you. Um, the trickier part might be, that if you've not borrowed money from the bank before uh, and you're one of a number of companies who have a relationship manager, the chances are that relationship manager is swamped currently. He probably has too many, or he or she probably has too many portfolio companies uh, under their wing. Uh, and if they've not lent you before, they've not really had a good hard look at your business, probably haven't put the slide rule over your business. Uh, and then we'll therefore have more questions about the viability of it longer term. So, you know, these loans are going to be made on a commercial basis. Uh, and whilst they're heavily underwritten by the government, uh, there is some balance sheet risk for the bank or the banks uh, in all of that. So they are going to want to, you know, think hard before they, they lend you the money. Um, so I think uh, two key things you want to do is you obviously want to start talking to them. But before you do, I think it's key that, uh, and Simon alluded to some of this in his earlier uh, video, was you may need to make sure you've pulled all the levers and pushed all the buttons uh, to demonstrate that you've taken all the mitigating kind of actions you possibly can. And if that's, uh, you know, unpaid leave, if that's uh, if you're the business owner paying yourself a whole lot less or nothing at all, um, if that's, uh, you know, not paying certain bills, um, talking to the local authorities and saying you're not going to pay the rates for a period of time, um, whatever those actions are that you can take, make sure you've taken them and you can talk the bank through those um, very clearly and succinctly because they will take comfort from the fact that you've done all the right things up front before you come and talk to them about additional support. So don't leave any stone unturned uh, and just make sure you've pulled all those levers, pressed all those buttons uh, as quickly as you can. Um, and then I think the next thing is uh, there's some uncertainty about where this is all going to end up and what you're going to need. Um, and, and they get that and they'll understand that. Um, but, you know, as far as you can be, be clear on what you're asking for. Um, and you're only going to be able to demonstrate that by having done some cash flow forecasts uh, and done some projections. Um, we've had a bank model that we've been using originally to get the funding we got. That's been very useful. They've asked for that to be updated. We actually updated it a couple of weeks ago, but we're going to have to update it again because two weeks has been the longest two weeks I've ever seen in uh, my business career uh, and things have definitely changed. So we're going to update that and get that to them. That's a set of numbers that will give them some some comfort that we know what we're doing and where we think we might end up uh, and a bunch of assumptions and then the cash flow forecast that we updated over the weekend for them is probably the other key component so do have those to hand um, it'll it'll help show them that you know what you're doing where you're going 
um, and that you've at least made some assumptions, uh, even if in you know two, three months time, they turn out not to be incorrect because there's, well, so things have moved on uh, since then. So there are my two little, yeah, hopefully bits of advice about what to do and a little bit of background on uh, what I've seen today when talking to the bank. I hope that's helpful.